Madison is certified to teach science. He's a certified teacher of science and social studies. In science, Reverend Dyson, I'm not mistaken, there's a, a guy named Einstein who came up with the theory of relativity, right? E equals MC squared, right? And Einstein said this, if you can travel fast enough, you can turn the clock back. It's called time traveling. How am I doing, science? Doing good? I don't know if y'all know this, but Reverend Dyson is traveling so fast,
we have with us again, the doctor, Harry Thomas, from Miami, Florida. He's been with us before, and he's back again. But we want to make a welcome to him by just calling upon his name, Reverend Dr. Terry Thomas. And also he has some family members which he will introduce when he comes up. But we just want to say, uh, Reverend Thomas, thank you for coming back. Jesus loved, said unto Peter, It's the Lord. 
Now, when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fisherman coat on him, for he was naked. And he cast himself into the sea. Verse 17. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, loves thou me. Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest how I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. As you take your seat, would you look at the person next to him and say, He laughs, 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 laughs. Because of things that have happened into our past lives. 
we make decisions on who we want to be when we shouldn't be. Just because we may have been abused, just because our parents may have been drunk at just because our daddies may have never been no good. And we oftentimes live in the past of our pain just because we won't let go. We won't even look forward to a bright future because we're too busy living in our find ourselves when we won't let go according to the text. The Bible says in verse 1 that, that after these things he comes to the disciples. But what I want you to understand if you read it for yourself, his purpose was peak. In the 25 verses he appears, name is mentioned 11 times. And so Peter is the purpose of Christ going to the sea of Tiberias while they're there. Uh, I want to remind you that this is the Peter, the, the Peter who walked on water. This is this is Peter. This is the Peter who was at the Mount of Transfiguration. The, this is the Peter who always had something to say when Jesus asked the question. This is Peter the brave who was not afraid to cut off somebody's ear. But here is that Peter by the Sea of Tiberias fish. And Jesus shows up and says that, 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 that Peter is naked. This is the same Peter, if you will, that, that, that just a couple of days ago, that when they came to arrest Jesus, he had just told Jesus, I'll never deny you. Yes, yes. But when pressure came, when it came against Jesus, he started to say, I don't know. Jesus. When they kept pressing and said, wait a minute, you're one of the ones I saw you with him. All of a sudden, he came back and started cussing like a said. This is the same Peter that he dropped his head and ran and left Jesus. And now here comes Jesus to the sea of Tiberias and Peter is ashamed. Well, 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 do we find ourselves? When we won't let go of the past. Oh, yeah. Even though Jesus told Peter that he was going to be a fisherman of men, we find Peter back fishing fish. When you won't let go of your past, oftentimes you'll find yourself back to the places of your past. Man, my sister called me one night. We had gone through some things in a marriage. And I had been ministering to her and her husband for a good deal of time. Don't ask me, I'm not that kind of pastor. I can see right now some of y'all say, what happened, pastor? None of your business. However, <laughs> I ministered to them and ministered to them because I believe in what the Bible says. God hates the boss, and so the first thing we should try to do is rectify our mess. And so I kept ministering and ministering, and one night she calls me and she says, Pastor, you'll never guess where I was at yesterday. I said, well, you know, she said that I was in a gay bar. And that's where God had delivered her from when she made up her mind that that was no longer the life that she wanted to live. But because of what she had gone through in her marriage, and after ministering to them, 
He wanted to do something different. So he called all the young people in town. And he said to all the young people, I'm going to give each and every one of you a special seed. Take home, plant, water, and at the end of the year, I'm going to judge all of your plants. And from you, I'm going to be the king. There's a little boy there named Lee. He took his pot home all excited and told his mother, and he planted the seed in water. And one week went by, two weeks went by, three weeks went by, nothing worked. But he started to hear how all the other little children plants were starting to grow. One month, two months, three months, six months went by, and then he watches his friend, nothing grew. Finally, a year came, and the time came for all the young to be judged on their plants, and he had nothing. He decided that he wasn't going to go, and his mother said, no, you need to go. Take your pot, even though nothing's in it, and go. Being a busy child, he went there, and when he got there, all the children had beautiful trees and plants and flowers, and some of them laughed at him, and others said, well, nice try. The king finally came out, and he looked at all of these fabulous trees and plants and flowers, and he said, my, 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 you children have done a wonderful thing, but he kept on looking. Finally, he saw little Ling all the way in the back with the pot, and he told his soldiers to go get Ling, and Ling said, oh, God, I'm going to die now. I didn't go with anything. The king brought him up there, looked at him, and said to everybody, hush now. Behold, stands your king. And so back when they could not, the king could not understand it. And he said to all the young people, he said, you know, I gave y'all seeds that were bottle seeds and could not grow anything. And each and every one of you, after you saw that it would not grow, you devised your own plan to trick me. But he had of 
exposed. Let me teach you something. If you're afraid of being exposed, that lets you know that you're saved because the Holy Spirit is letting you know that you're not where you should be. The first thing that the Lord does is show up and expose us. He snatches the cover off of us in, in, in our nakedness. Now, 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 you may think that's a bad thing, but I'm here today to tell some of you the best thing that can ever happen to you when you get a mess is Jesus shows up and pulls the cover off you in the mess. Because, see, don't fool yourself. Like this. <laughs> and the thing about me, 
consideration and our concern should be eternity. So you can come today and be sure where your eternity will be spent. So we invite you today. If that's you, I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't wait. The man of God just told us that we do have a deliverer who loves us, who cares about us. You can come today. You can come today. Do you know Jesus for yourself? And if they say yes, celebrate. 